This is a ball vise. It allows work to be moved quickly to almost any position. This one cost me just $10 to make, needs no fancy tools, and I think every creative should have one. In this video, I'll show you how. The build begins with preparing the printed parts. I press this rubber ring into a groove in the base. Then we can glue and combine the two halves together, weighing it down to dry. Flipping this, I glue more on the inside, then tighten the bolts to ensure the parts don't split. Moving on to the main ball, I start by gently installing 9 M8 coupling nuts. I put these small spaces onto 8 bolts and install these into the coupling nuts. This space is important so the cement we are about to pour holds the nuts in place. I install a 65mm bolt into the base and tighten the face in place. I prepare a box of sand to support the prints during the pour. I don't think this is needed but it cost me nothing so better to be safe than sorry. You now need to fill the ball. You could use plaster and this would probably suffice, however I wanted as much heft as possible. To achieve this I'm going to use cement and steel. The more steel the better. I have this big box of random hardware but I might need something from it one day. Big maybe. Still, I don't want to waste good hardware. Fortunately, I know a source that is just perfect. I just need to go fetch it. I have a superpower. That superpower being a perfect memory of every piece of rubbish I've ever found. And if my memory serves me right, then hidden in this valley is an abandoned fort. And in this fort is a box of treasure. Rusty nails. Just what I need. With the loot secured, I can prepare my cement. I'm aiming for the wettest mixture that I feel comfortable with pouring. A mixture too wet won't set properly. I start with a small amount in the bottom before the first handful of metal. I continue this pattern until the bottom of the inner bolts where I make sure to cover them with the cement. I then put in one more layer of metal before finishing with cement for a clean look. I use sticks to ensure the mix flows deep. I leave a bit of overflow which I scrape off as it partially dries. The base is a similar process but I don't bother with the metal. This is then left to dry for a day. The next day I remove it from the sand and we are left with the body of our vice. It's solid, really nice to just hold for some reason. There is all manner of things you could put onto this base, but today I'm going to mount a turntable. I need to adapt the thread down so I turn some thread adapters on my lathe. You can also just buy these, but I didn't want to wait for shipping. This turntable has a dovetail which can be used for a variety of work holding options. Firstly, these two vices. A plain and fractal option, which are the same vices I use on my tapping arm. I think this might be the most useful fractal vice option. Giving it the concrete base, I'm able to hold it firm and apply a lot of force, and somehow it feels less flimsy than it normally does. Another option is this PCB vice, which holds and spins the work in a variety of convenient angles. This is a painting handle, but it in combination with the vise can also be used for filming purposes. My mum sculpts lifelike dolls and asked me if she could try it for that purpose, for which it worked well. Yeah, how's the thing held up? Yeah, it's really good because mm. you can put a decent amount of pressure on it mm. and um, it doesn't fall over, So you, because you need to put a bit of pressure on it to um, blend the clay in and you can because it, it holds it strong enough that it it can do that right that's good to know yeah <laughs> maybe with the noise 
we don't want the nose on yet. But one option I thought would be particularly useful would be for painting miniatures. But rather than speculating, I went to see one of my friends, who's much better at it than I will ever be, to get his thoughts on how useful it really is. Um, so yeah, I'm just I'm just interested in your honest opinion of like how it feels to yeah, use I'm for curious. because it's uh, yeah I'm just it's it's easy to speculate oh this might be good for mm. something but yeah, um it's better to actually asking someone down. who does the hobby is generally going to get you yeah. a much you know much better feedback. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. Like, it's very stable, which is the thing I mainly like about it. It's like I'm holding this stuff normally. I'm having to like use my own hand and brace my like palms against each other to get stability, which is difficult, especially because I'm not very, you know, I'm got a bit of a shakes, I suppose. Um, but yeah, like I think it's a good thing. Like, and you can orient it in so many different ways. It makes it extremely easy to get kind of that angle you want. I guess the only difficulty is that. Um, getting it like, if I want this kind of angle, it's further away from me, which obviously means you have less precision, but I think that's fine. You can just pick it up, put it closer <laughs> to you. Um, uh, this thing is very useful, being able to just spin it and have like a quick look at everything and easily reorient it. Um, but if it, it would be yeah better if it had some way to lock it, because while you're painting, it can like sort of jiggle a bit. Yeah, right. That's pretty much it. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's that's some good feedback. I'm I'm. Can you put the gun down? No. Say like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> like and subscribe. These are just a few of its potential uses. I think what sets it apart from traditional work holding options is how solid it feels to work at, while still being quick to adjust and move. While it is, of course, not a replacement for everything. At its price, I think most people will find value in it. There are elements of the design I want to change in the future, like getting a stronger turntable and adapting it for some common metal vices. The base unit, however, I think is perfect. I can't think of anything I would like to change. In case it wasn't obvious, I'm really pleased with this project. It's probably the single most useful thing I've designed. The parts are linked below in the description. A few people have asked where to support me, and I have just started a Patreon, which you can find linked in the description. I have a lot more coming, so subscribe to stay in the loop. Thanks, as always, for watching. <laughs>